Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we're going to be learning how to tell time to the nearest quarter hour. Do you know how many quarters are in an hour, Lucas? Um, four. Four, that's right. We have four quarters in an hour. Also, in a year, there are four quarters. It's when a clock is divided into four equal parts. And we're going to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today we are reviewing how to tell time to the nearest quarter hour. If the big hand is pointing to the top, that means it's something o'clock. If the big hand is pointing to the three, it's something 15. If the big hand is pointing down, that means it is something 30. And if the big hand is pointing toward the nine, that means it is something 45. Okay, Lucas, right now, what time is it here on the clock? Um, it's four o'clock. That's right. Um, I have some other videos talking about time, and what we talked about is that this is the hour hand, and this is the minute hand. I also like to say that this is the lady hand, and this is the man hand, because my mom always taught me when a woman is going into the door, by the door, you always hold the door open and you let the lady go first. So we always want to say the lady hand first. So he's, Lucas said it's four o'clock because I read the lady hand first or the hour hand first and that is four o'clock and that the minute hand should be pointing straight up. We also learned on another show is that when this minute hand is pointing down, we take a look at the hour hand or the lady hand first, and this is in the land of the four. So we say four, it is 430. All right, let's go ahead and review. When the big hand is pointing to the top, that means it's something o'clock. For example, 10 o'clock. When the big hand is pointing to the three, that means it's something 15. So it would be 10, 15. When the big hand is pointing down, that means it is something 30. So it would be 10, 30. And when the big hand is pointing to the nine, it is something 45. And it would be 10, 45. Another way to say 10, 45 is 15 minutes till 11, quarter to 11. Another way to say 10, 15 is quarter after 10. Now, I'm going to write down a number and Lucas has to do the time. Oh, it's going to be so tricky. Okay. Too tricky. I am going to write down 7.15 or a quarter after 7. Let's see if Lucas can do it. No. No, you have to, I, have I to. can't look? Okay, we can't look. The suspense is killing me. Remember, it's going to be 15 after 7 or a quarter after 7. So think about where are you going to put the hour hand or the lady hand and where are you going to be putting the minute hand. Are you ready? Let's take a look to see what Lucas has. Is it in the land of the 7? Because this is the land of the 7 right here. It's in 7. And let's take a look at the minute hand here. We had 5, 10, 15, 7, 15. Yes, he did it. He's a winner. Now I'm going to give him a clue. All right, our last one. Lucas is going to do one for me. Uh-oh. First of all, let's erase our old number here. Ooh, this does look very challenging. We got a, a hand going this way and a hand going this way. So first of all, we have to relax. Take a deep breath. Whew. All right. What hand do we say first? The hour hand or the lady hand. Ladies always go first. Let's find the lady hand, the shortest hand. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. So that's kind of confusing because is it nine or ten? But this is the land of the nine. So I write down... Nine first. Okay. Now I take a look at the minute hand. Let's take a look at the minute hand. We have five, ten, fifteen. 
It is 9.15, a quarter after nine. Remember, if the big hand is pointing to the top, it's something o'clock. For example, seven o'clock. If the big hand is pointing to the three, it's something 15. So it would be 7.15, or a quarter after seven. If the big hand is pointing down, it's something 30. So it would be 7.30. And if the big hand is pointing to the nine, it's something 45. So it would be 7.45. Also, that would be known as a quarter to eight, because this is 15 right here, quarter to eight. And if the big hand is up to the top again, it's something o'clock. It is eight o'clock. Remember to always look at the lady hand first, the hour hand first, and then the minute hand, the man hand. Hey, thanks a lot for watching our show today. I hope you had a good time watching our show. Remember what we learned today. We learned how to tell time to the nearest quarter hour. We have 15, 30, and 45. Hey, make sure you check out our other videos on here. We have a lot of cool math videos, language arts videos, art videos, a little bit of everything. Have a great time today.